I'm starting off with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I love this stuff. And if you are someone who's using this tutorial for back to school, if you're still in high school and you're on a budget, I definitely recommend this primer. I believe it's under $3. And yeah, it's really, really amazing. Next, I'm going in with my foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth. I love this foundation because it is not full coverage. It is very, very sheer. And for a day where I don't wear a lot of makeup and I like to look super natural, I love this foundation because you can still see through my skin, which doesn't really bother me, so that's why I don't mind using this foundation. For concealer, I'm using my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Light. Even when I'm going for a no makeup makeup look, I still have to wear concealer because I have very dark under eye circles. But I love this one because it is super, super sheer, but it still brightens up your under eye area. And it's only around $3 and I absolutely love it. For setting my under eye area, I'm using my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I recently bought this and it is amazing. It is $3 you guys and it lasts so long. So I definitely recommend it. And I'm using a Real Techniques Setting Brush. For my eyebrows, I usually would use the Alme brow pencil, but I ran out, so I had to use my Anastasia one, so I am sorry. But I still love to do my eyebrows on a no makeup makeup look because my eyebrows are very bald and sad, so I need to add something to it. And I love using a powder or a pencil because it's the most natural. And I just like to fill in my bald spots, and then I love to set it with a brow. Um, brow gel and this is by L'Oreal um, I use this brow gel because it helps diminish the appearance of powdery eyebrows if that makes sense and it just like feathers them out really pretty and natural and then I went ahead and tight lined my upper lash line and applied some mascara I like tight lining my upper lash line no matter what because it makes it helps my eyes look bigger if that makes sense I talk too much huh and then I added a nude eyeliner to the bottom waterline. Applying a black on the top lash line and then a nude on the bottom really makes your eyes look awake. And then for bronzer, I'm using the Rimmel bronzer. And I still use bronzer even though I'm trying to look like super natural because it just helps bring a little bit of color back into your face. If you just use foundation and con foundation, <laughs> foundation. <laughs> if you just use foundation and concealer, you're you can tend to look a little pale. And of course, I have to bronze my nose. And then for blush, this is the most beautiful natural blush ever from the drugstore. It's Revlon Oh Baby Pink. It is so beautiful. I love it. I use it all the time. And then I just went ahead and went over it with a very very fluffy brush. To help blend everything together and then for my lips I used the NYX lip liner in the shade I'm sorry guys I'm so not organized in the shade soft brown and then on top I put the vivid amount liquid lipstick from Maybelline in the shade nude flush and this is definitely not a matte lipstick but I still like it because it adds color to my lips and then of course, if you're going to school, you have to set your whole face or else your makeup will be gone by the end of your school day. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.